Welcome to this Excel tutorial, where we'll explore two methods to convert a column to a comma-separated list. We'll start by using a formula based on the text join function, followed by a VBA code approach. Let's dive into each method. Let's begin with the first method, where we'll utilize a formula based on the text join function to seamlessly convert a column into a comma-separated list. This formula provides a straightforward way to concatenate values with customizable delimiters. Assuming that you have a list of data in range B1, B6, and you want to convert all values in column B to comma-separated list in another cell. How to achieve it? You can create a formula based on the text join function to achieve the result. Just like this. Equals text join, true, B1, B6. Replace, B1, B6 with the range of cells containing the values you want to concatenate. Type this formula into a blank cell and press enter key in your keyboard. You can see the column is converted into a comma separated list. Now, let's explore the second method, which involves using VBA code to automate the process of converting a column to a comma separated list. This method provides flexibility and efficiency for handling large datasets. Press Alt plus F11 to open the VBA editor window. In the VBA editor window, go to the Insert menu and select Module. This will create a new module in the project. Copy the provided VBA code. Paste the code into the newly created module in the VBA editor window. Close the VBA editor window. Go to the Developer tab. If not visible, enable it in Excel settings and click on Macros. Select the macro you just created and click Run. Select the source range, such as B1, B6. Click OK button. Select the cell where you want the comma separated list to appear. Click OK button. You should see that the selected cells have been converted into a comma separated list. If you found this tutorial helpful in learning how to convert a column to a comma separated list in Excel using both formula and VBA code methods, don't forget to subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.